Hey, greetings to you friends, Harry here. And uh, I wanted to share with you all on my channel a uh, video I took a, I guess it's been a few months back now, of a, um, I had a 2001 Ford F-250 uh, with a 7.3 liter power stroke. And uh, complaint was fuel in the cooling system. So that's kind of a shocking thing for the customer to see is uh, when he gets to the restaurant or job site or parking lot somewhere uh get out and see fluid running out on the ground and lo and behold uh it's coming from the cooling system but it sure doesn't look like coolant <laughs> and what it is is a fuel coolant slick slimy mixture running out and that's uh like whoa that's shocking so anyway what happens is and i don't want to come out and say this is a common problem uh in the shop we used to keep these in stock but uh, it wasn't an every day or every week thing. We'd see probably one or two a year. Um, and so we had them in stock because we, you know, we, well, we just want to keep them in stock so we could get them turned out uh, as fast as possible. So what happens is this is the injector sleeve or injector cup, so-called. And uh, this thing presses down inside the cylinder head and it's surrounded with coolant. The injector goes inside there and... Uh, there's a copper washer on the bottom to prevent combustion from blowing back. And then there is a seal. Let's see here. If you can see, maybe. There's a pink line that goes around there. That is a seal that would seal diesel fuel. So like up here around where my finger is, there's a crossed drilled passage in the cylinder head. Every four of these per head for four injectors. And uh, so, you know, right about here, there'd be a, a chamber or cross-drilled passage in the cylinder head with pressurized fuel. And then above that, and I'll show you an image of an injector so you can see what I'm talking about uh, later in the video. There, above that, there's another cross-drilled sealed chamber uh, full of pressurized oil. Uh, pressurized injection pressure is what it's called uh, to fire the injector on a, on a Huey-controlled uh, fuel system which is what the uh, seven threes and six liter power strokes are. Anyway, um, so what happens is these sleeves or cups get m like microscopic perforations in them right around here where my, kind of like where that line is really, right around where that bend is and where the transition and shape is in this thing. And what happens is pressurized fuel that on these engines is, you know, averaging between 50 and 70 PSI will blow through those microscopic perforations into the surrounding coolant that's all around and then find its way to the top and you know push the push the coolant out and push that nasty fuel coolant slick slimy mixture out so anyway the way to find this is you got to pull out all the injectors pressurize the cooling system and then basically go around to each each cup and uh, each cylinder look down in the cup and see hopefully the leak so i got a real uh what i thought was cool uh capture of that happening with my borescope and i want to share that here uh on my channel so anyway check it out any questions comment down below and uh or any comments or your own adventure with these things uh shoot me a comment shoot me a like and uh if you want to see more subscribe helps us out all right grace and peace to you friends all right so here i am on this truck uh taking this thing apart i figured i'd put some of this in here uh this time lapse stuff is kind of cool and um i didn't want this video to be instructional or anything like that just really kind of informative and entertaining and just to show some stuff that uh you usually don't see very often like uh i call it a bugs view i'm gonna drop a bore scope down in the cylinder there and see what that cup looks like when it's leaking so that's pretty interesting so this is just some video here of me uh, getting access uh, to the injectors uh, it's not too bad um, you know the older these things get they quit making them in 03 and so the older they get they're a little bit harder to get apart the um, you know plastic stuff uh, starts to break and stuff so anyway, there's the injector. Is injectors are out, and we're going in the cylinder number one with the borescope. There I am, using my borescope here, going down, going.
going down, down, down into the cup there. Like old Jonah went down, 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 right? All right. So we are in the... We are not in the cylinder. We're down in the cylinder head. And uh, like it says on the screen there, it says cooling system pressurized. So we've got to have the system full of coolant still and pressurized uh, at 15 pounds. And what you're seeing, those little drops there, is coolant coming through, um, coming through those brass injector sleeves or cups. Um, kind of a neat thing to see that up close. Uh, you got to pull, you know, and usually it's just, I've never seen one in, more than one sleeve leaking at a time. But the only way to really tell is got to get all the injectors out. And you go into this job um, with the expectation of replacing all these sleeves. Uh, you wouldn't want to do all this just to do one sleeve. You know, it's not like we're doing all that. Because the, the, the biggest part of the job is the labor to get the injectors out. Replacing these sleeves, you know, that, that's kind of a fraction. But the time is getting the injectors out and getting them back in. So when you, you know, the thing is, once all, once all that's done, you go in with the expectation of replacing all these, but you just want to find, you know, which one's bad. And if you can't find the bad one, just replace them all. But I always like to find the, the quote unquote smoking gun. So what you're seeing here is you're seeing the cooling systems pressurized and you're seeing, and I'm constantly blowing every few seconds, I'm blowing with compressed air. I'm blowing these droplets off to dry off the cup so we can see the droplets just reforming again. It's pretty neat. If you just watch that, it come in for a little closer shot here. And you can just see the droplet size just growing. I'll blow it off again here. There you go, just blow it off with compressed air and you just watch them reform. And you see how close I am, you can't see the holes. And so that's coolant coming through at 15 pounds or so. So just imagine what the fuel is doing at say 70 pounds, which is, you know, some of these may see 70 pounds or close to that. So, you know, the, the coolant's coming through like that. Okay, we're backing out again. Just imagine what the fuel is doing as it's kind of like a must be like a cascading spray just spraying into the cooling system oh there i am i'm happy i just put a few shots in here of pulling this um pulling these uh cups out of the head got a special tool there uh it's a big tap threads right into them that brass pretty easily and then uh it's a really good tool and then that thing use that for of course you want to make sure that the uh, cooling system is drained at this point or you're gonna have a huge mess uh, pulls that thing right out here's the bad one I wish I had the bad one I had them all stacked up and threw them in the bed of my truck and uh, I don't know if one slipped the P it actually when I took it off of this tool it actually broke you see me wiping it off there you can almost see the line and here's just a shot of me uh, pulling these, uh, taking the injectors, um, and we're going to put all new seals on them, of course, <clears throat> which takes some time. Get all these seals off, and then you want to just clean them all up real good. Never want to use a steel wire brush on the end of that thing. Um, on the very tip, there's some microscopic holes drilled. And uh, if you want to clean that up at all, you just use plastic or a brass brush. The steel brush or steel uh, wire brush will actually uh, can elongate the holes or um, kind of make those holes less precise, which will mess up the spray pattern. So clean them all up, and you can see I got them all resealed there. I'm just going to show you a shot of me resealing. I'll uh, put my new seals on there. And there's a backup ring that goes on first. And then there's a, like a square cut seal. Then an O-ring. 
And that seal right there is going to seal the high pressure injection uh, injection control pressure, which you know varies anywhere from zero to on this engine probably close to three thousand uh, potentially. So that that seal there is the very top seal. We've got a backup ring, then that seal, then an O-ring. That's going to keep the high pressure oil from coming out of the uh, out of the cylinder head. And then a pink seal, well, after that O-ring. Then a pink seal is going to go on, which is keeping the injection control pressure and the fuel chamber separated. So between that pink one and the, the first ones I put on is high pressure oil. And then this one here is actually, you see in the insert there, that's the fuel chamber in the head, and that is where the cup is leaking, right there where that arrow is pointing, right in that area. So that's where the where the fuel pressure is, and that's where the uh, the cups go bad, right in there. Well, anyway, I'm just going to finish this up. I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, give us a subscription for more content. Click the bell, get alerted, okay? And send us a like. And we appreciate you. All right. Grace and peace again, friends.